Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 9 and I have a collab with Autumn Beckman, with Ed Braun, with David's Closet, and James Jam. So five of us all together, after you watch my video, please go and watch their videos. I'm not really sure what they got, but we all bought something from Portland Leather Goods and there's something new in the air guys and we all just went for it what can i say and you know tis the season i am so excited to dig into this box so let's get it on in the words of marvin gay and henry's roaming around on the floor here so hopefully he's not going to get into mischief and knock my tripod over so fingers crossed Henry, go ahead back up. Go ahead back up, sweetheart. People people want to see you always. Tiggy's taking a nap. So you can see this is a little box. And here is what the box looks like inside. And I don't think anybody's going to guess what this is. Here is the PLG thank you. And they give you some information on leather care. Leave us a review. And let's get into the bag. Oh my, I have nothing in this color from any brand. And that's why I was so excited to get this. One of the reasons. And it's a new shape. So, oh, 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 okay, here it is. This is the brand new bubble bag from Portland Leather Goods. It is a mini tote. It has rounded leather handles. Mine is in the color plum. And this is really gorgeous. We have a snap top opening. Wow, this is really, really nice. You still have the raw edges like you're gonna find on most PLG bags. However, this seems to be a little bit more refined in design and it's just adorable. It does come with a strap. It's an adjustable crossbody strap. So I'm probably gonna have to adjust this a little bit, but maybe not. So, it does fit on the regular setting. Well, the setting that it came with, I should say. So here's how it looks. But if I'm wearing this with a winter coat, guys, I'm going to need to adjust this a little bit more. So I think that right now this can go, this is in the middle. So there's maybe one, two, three, four, four more holes to go to make it longer and three more to make it shorter. So it's a pretty good adjustment length. And for reference, I am just under 5'4", Yota. And I have some big girls and this works. So I'm happy. So let's take the stuffing and take a look at the inside. And here's what it looks like inside. No bells and whistles inside. It's just suede on all sides. No pockets, no nothing. So this is the kind of bag that maybe you might want to put an organizer in just to protect your things if they're light colored because this has the potential to rub off and give you color transfer. So I won't be using this with my little beige Chanel Zippy, for instance, but this should be fine with, you know, a dark LV canvas or with um, one of my, my black Chanel leather goods. This should be fine. But I just absolutely love it. And because this is natural grained leather and natural vegetable tanning, you have some variations in color and I really love that the handles on the smooth leather here 
are a different color than the body because the leather takes up differently or the color takes up differently on different types of leather. This is a pebbled leather. You can see it has Portland Leather Goods embossed right over here. Other than that, there's no branding. Again, it's got a snap closure to keep everything secure. The strap is detachable. So you can remove it, you can put a different strap or you could just carry it by the top handle if you choose. And yeah, I mean, this is a pretty even grain all the way around. Some of the PLG leathers have different types of grain where they may vary a bit, but this is just smooth everywhere. And oh, look, there's just nothing wrong with this bag anywhere. No flaws, no glazing issues, no scratches and scuffs. And I didn't pay a hundred dollars for this bag when it was on sale. So I really have no complaints whatsoever. I think that it's just beautiful. Um, there's no glazing on the handles either. I wanna point that out. This is all just the raw leather. And the handles seem to feel very, very comfortable as they are now. You could do crook of the arm with this bag. I could, it's got plenty of room. I guess I would say that this is about maybe a four inch drop four and a half inch drop. It's, it's a decent drop. I mean, it's not going to go over your shoulder, but it's definitely way big enough for crook of the arm for most people. And I am really happy and excited. And I think I'm going to have to go back to PLG and get another bag because this is really, really cute. So yay. I'm going to open an advent calendar now. And I think that you guys should go over and check out the rest of the folks in the collab and see what they got. Even if they got the same bag, they may have gotten a different color and they may have gotten a different leather and some other accompaniments with it. So go ahead and check that out. So we're on day nine of our advent calendar and I'm just going to put this up here for some eye candy while we do this. So, here's the box. I'm filming this a little bit ahead of time, so I am getting a second calendar, but we'll catch up with that. So, day nine is over here. Oh, and it's a Jo Malone, and I know which Jo Malone this is. I am so excited because I've never had this, but I've smelled it. This is Mar and Tonka which is a fabulous holiday and winter scent. And this I'm expecting is going to smell very similar to one of my favorite perfumes of all time. And that's Passage d'Enfer by L'Artisan. And that's also got some frankincense in it and some vanilla and some other gourmand and spicy notes. And I love that, so let's see if I pick up a lot of those scents on me with this scent. Okay, it's got to dry down. Oh, I definitely am getting that incense -y kind of scent. Just kind of patting a little bit near my neck because I had some that sprayed onto my palm. This is really, really beautiful. You definitely get the vanilla. Definitely it has that Tonka because Tonka bean has a vanilla scent. This is not too strong. It's really a very, very nice winter scent. And winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is another winner. So yeah, I think that this is definitely a contender for a full bottle at some point. And this is the Intense Cologne. Let me bring it closer that, so you can see. I believe that this also comes in a regular concentration. So this one is a little bit stronger. Yeah, this is beautiful. 
So thumbs up once again. Thanks all for joining me. Go ahead over, watch the rest of the folks in the collab. And if you like this kind of content, bags, perfumes, unboxing, luxury in general, hit that subscribe button, guys. And I hope to see you back again because this festivity goes on all year round, not just at Christmas. And I will see you guys all tomorrow for day 10. Stay tuned. Bye.